finally decided to show up. This is the cold case radiator that I ordered back in July 1st and then now it's the beginning of September. So here we go. I've already popped the staples but I really haven't looked inside. So let's see. Boxes inside of boxes. Well you know what? I appreciate that that everything is boxed and then they put it into a larger box just so it doesn't get damaged on the way. So uh, let me pull everything out. Oh, I opted for the dual fan setup. Let's get everything out of this. This is the big boy. Very nice. Dual fans. Uh, what do we got? Warning! Warranty information and some nuts and bolts and instructions. That's nice. So, I'm not gonna pick everything out of the box and I'm not putting anything together just yet. I do wanna make sure they don't mess around and make sure this thing stays together. There we go. There's a radiator. Let's get that bad boy out. Especially on big ticket items like this, even if I'm not ready to use it, I want to get it out of the container. And I want to make sure that it's not damaged. This thing showed up, so it wasn't like I had to sign for it. And there's something wrong with it. I'd rather know now, seeing as how it took forever to get this one. <laughs> they even paint the name on it. That's pretty cool. And there's a little snowflake. That's nice. So, actually, I've been on G Body Forum looking because I think Cold Case is a is like um like a sponsor on the on the forum. And uh, there was a dude that uh, put one in his car, and he actually went through a couple of the small issues that he ran into. So kind of, I, I realize now some of the stuff that I might have to deal with. Thank you for doing it first. <laughs> I'm definitely going to learn from uh, what you went through. But I just wanted to check it real quick. Make sure all the bungs look good. Everything is tigged up nice. The factory trans connections, upper and lower radiator hose, connections, it's even got cold case stamped into the side tank, oh, uh, yeah, okay, doesn't look like there's any damage with that, that's what I was making sure, just uh, didn't want to make sure it didn't have any bumps or bruises in transit. This is the fan shroud, I believe, this is why I had to make my own. Come to this. Let's get this out of the tape. Uh -huh. Oh, and they've got uh, got like a film they put over top of it, I guess, to keep it looking nice. Anyway, so this goes in place, and then the fans go on. So with the fans on, the the factory fan shroud, I don't think was going to fit. Actually, let's look and see. I'm sticking with my custom fan shroud regardless, but this is more or less how this would bolt on. Yeah, it's um, it might fit, but on the sides it's kind of tight. I think the fans might actually interfere with it, and there's honestly no need for it now. So. That's not going back on. All right. Let's pop these fans out. Let's see what that's about. Nice. And the fans just bolt in place. 
nice. It's got to be just so. Okay, so that's pretty much what it looks like when it goes into the car. So now that this is here, I can actually finish the work on the core support. I've got the condenser, I've got the radiator now. I'm almost done with the fan shroud. I've still got to do some, some tweaking and cutting on it, but this is going to be nice. Now what I'm going to do, all this plastic will come off in this nice shiny aluminum. I am actually going to paint it black. I, uh, I want it to disappear. So the side tanks and this shroud will be painted black, except for the top filler tube. Uh, that's the only thing that's going to remain the aluminum color, but everything else I'm going to paint it black. Don't think I need to worry about uh, the center fins because the condenser will be in front of it. So I'll paint the condenser black and that's going to be on the front side of this. You'll never see the radiator, so there's no point painting the radiator. That'll be fine. I'll just leave it the way it is. But I'm going to paint this all... Um, well, there's like a radiator. There's a radiator paint, Eastwood cells. I guess it's supposed to be a thinner film. I think it's really for like the center fins, so it, it, uh, it doesn't like clog up the, 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 um, the fins with paint. It goes on real thin, but I may use that on the side tanks as well. Either that or I'm just going to use Eastwood's Underfoot Black. This is all going to be black. You'll have the fan shroud at the top, so you really won't see it. I'm trying to decide. I'm going to, I'm going to get an Osmobile emblem, like, so, like a grill emblem, and I'm going to put it either here at the top or I'm going to put it at the bottom. I have to decide. If it's here at the top with the fan shroud on, you may never see it but I'll know it's there, that's good enough. Or either that or I'll put it at the bottom where it's a little bit more noticeable. But I'm gonna basically bolt it to the shroud and then maybe uh, fill it around the side so it looks like it's literally, it looks like a stamping. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. And then paint the whole thing black. Emblem, everything, so it just looks black. So then it looks, maybe I'll put it down here. Then it looks like it's a stamped Olds Rocket emblem in there. I think that would be kind of cool. So that's the idea. We'll see how that works. Um, I've got an emblem coming and when that shows up I've got to figure out what to do with it because it's actually it's actually curved because the front of the I think it's a grill emblem from like a 71 cutlass so it's curved or it's it's arched at the front because that's how the the front grill where it mounts is at so I, I need to bend it and flatten it so we'll see when that comes in but this is good finally got this thing in I've been waiting a while for this I'm happy all right well uh, I'm just going to wait till the emblem shows up. When the emblem shows up, then I'll get back to work.